Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The Bear, Season 1, Episode 6. This is an episode request from someone on Patreon. You know who you are, thank you for requesting. I appreciate it so much, all the support from you guys really makes it worth it. Um, and I love being able to watch shows that I normally wouldn't, uh, my normal shows. So it's always fun to, and this is a good one, I like this. I know Season 3 just started airing as I'm filming this now, so... It's good timing. I feel good watching it while it's also airing. I don't know, something about that makes it feel better. Also, right now, if you hear noises in the background, I'm sorry. I try to keep them all far away, but I have fans running because of the AC in our house right now, um, not looking great. Right now, um, I guess we had a guy come look at it yesterday, uh, at the indoor unit, and because it was just not on at all. It, wouldn't turn, it was off for an entire, like, two days, and it's, like, over 90 degrees outside all day, and 100% humidity. It's insane. Luckily, the basement down here stays nice and cool, but it's started to warm up now. And we we have to replace the whole thing because it's, like, gotta stay. For some reason, the coolant, there's a whole thing where, like, the thing's broken. If it gets too low, it just automatically shuts off. So we have it set at 75 degrees, which is so hot for me. I like it cold. I need cold. I need AC. So 75 is way too warm for me. So I've got fan go two fans going on in the bedroom right now. Hopefully, they're very, both very loud fans. So I'm kind of like letting them in the bedroom and hoping the cold air kind of comes into here, into the living room. And then I've got like a big swivel fan from a distance. Trying to give some air but not directly on me. And oh, because it's a little loud too. And then I have a small little fan on top of my mini fridge that's facing like that way. Just kind of get air flowing around. And if I need to, I've also got a clip-on fan that clips to the table, and I've also got a handheld fan and a neck fan. I like fans. I like cold people. So I've always got fans. And so, I've got fans. And if so, if you hear anything, but it's needed, could definitely with these big lights on, they make things a little warmer. So I definitely need some colder air to help out, to compensate. Alright, that's it. I'm excited to watch this, you guys, to see what's going to happen as they slowly improve this restaurant and become a better team. So, yeah. Alright, without further ado, here we go. Oh, this is going to make me hungry, isn't it? Okay, it's sick. But still, this episode is going to make me hungry. I haven't eaten yet today. Let's go, let's go. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Right. Making... So we're at Sirius, right? Which was the oh. bottom of the board of the trade building. What's his name? From Walking Dead. It's just a and Punisher. Six thirty in the morning, so that when traders, when they lost their ass when the market opened, they could just you know, Oh, is this Michael? Is this their brother? Anyway. Oh, this is before the goddess of agriculture, sorry. Yeah, and, uh, fucking story. All right, someone's just <laughs> weren't invited, huh? Anyway, on top of the building, there was like a statue of Ceres. What is it making? For all of you historians, was facing Steak, towards the east. Steak, prosciutto, all of trading had just moved. cheese, crumbs. He built this statue as like a, it was like a big fuck you. Christ, wake me up when the story starts Nuts. in the fucking <laughs> class. Look. This place is going to be a fucking ghost town, right? No, 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 fuck off. Show that we are not getting racist. Don't do that. No, no, we're not racist. fucking doing racist. Huh? Anyway, cousin, <laughs> was it a ghost town? It was not a ghost town. And cousin, who was there? Savvy. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Savvy, Dennis, motherfucking Savard. Remember, Remember 18? 18? In the house. <laughs> no, 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 that's not stop there. Chelios, fucking Belfort. Let's go. I actually have seen a Blackhawks game before in Chicago. I mean, inducted into the fucking Hockey Hall of Fame. We and then I've seen another Blackhawks game in Phoenix as well. Uh, you, know, you have reached the voicemail of Richie Yermovich, the goddess of everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I believe it. Shut up. Shit, it's genius. The goddess over here, you being all the fucking nonsense. It's all the fucking hullabaloo. Yeah. Can we hear this fucking Ooh, voice that looks right really now? good. And the voice. What are you doing? Right? <laughs> Right in front of us, this guy, he turns around. Who was it? Bill Murray! <laughs> Bill Murray, what? So Richie, he says to me, he goes, why are you doing that? And Richie says, because it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> he finally says that to Bill Murray, and Bill Murray says, no, no. No, it's not. That is not funny. He goes, well, give me your phone. And then he goes, <laughs> what's your name? Right? Oh, he's telling the story on a date. Me. The king. 
fucking Bill Murray. Yeah, I understand who that is. Yeah. Call me. <laughs> you can hear it. I get it. Call me. I, I, I still got it. I believe it's you. It's still on my phone. I'm good. Okay. Okay. Really? You don't want to hear it? Oh, God. Richie. You guys were at a bar at 6.45 in the morning? <laughs> Not the best yeah, date but, story, I mean, really. Fun story to talk with you, talk with your friends, but not on a date. Definitely at a fancy restaurant right now. Also, not the person for you. You need someone that's gonna want to laugh with you and tell these stories, buddy. Love you, but she's not the one. Okay, there we this go. Why am I watching? Why did I choose to watch a show first thing in the morning when I wake up? Because now I'm hungry. It's such a humor, you know? Uh -oh. And even worse, dude, I'll tell you, even actually much worse, it's like she got no... Richie. In the way. Okay. listen up. What? you like that? Yeah, make it worth it. Take this grease. Once the soap in our fingers are proven, we can't fuck with this shit. Cool? Yeah, Okay. Fair. <laughs> Two hours. Th you're great to go. Are you saying risotto to go to me? I am barely convinced we're ready for. I'm just <laughs> saying if you use a dining instead of just lying around here, it's pretty smart. Let's just try. I don't understand. Chef, it's right here. Chef, you can chef, chef. chef. It's right hey, here. listen to me. She has smart ideas, but I'm thinking about it. So hold Let on, him think. please. Yeah. Okay. Give him a moment. The work for I called them for hiring me. Oh, what? Because your resume is excellent. This place is not. <laughs> incredibly smart, talented. They also said. You are incredibly impatient. <laughs> so that's yeah. why my business couldn't cut it. That's why I'm here. That's Ooh. why you no, don't. Oh, God. So what are you saying? Oh. So give me a minute. Yeah, give a, just give him a minute. It's good to give ideas, but he's got a lot going on. We have finally gotten this to a place where things are sort of, kind of, Yeah, chill, let's, right? let's chill for a moment before we rock the boat some more. As I possibly can. Oh god. Okay, you... Like we just got stable. Is it I'm 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 looking for. Oh. Wow. What? You are special. Yeah. <laughs> yeah there's something called Internal Revenue Service and they collect taxes. Oh. Oh, Natalie. Yes. People in this place, they haven't given that government organization anything in five anything? years. Anything? And somehow Oh no. I'm a nightmare and my home will be seized if I don't give them oh, some shit. money. Oh shit. Okay, so I can reach an agreement with them to pay a smaller amount. So I'm going to need you to go in there and to get the payroll records from 2018. Ooh, do with the IRS? That's rough. The IRS, rich. Tax shit. <laughs> Tax <Yikes>. shit. <laughs> okay, so I love this family dynamic, honestly. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. Wait a minute. It's a fuck you. <laughs> I love her. I'm gonna bit of more focus on Richie this episode, it feels. Which is interesting. Maybe see how he's dealing with everything. Oh, the place next door is fully safe. Should I be wearing a gas mask? No, man. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Oh, that's Richard Hart. Hart Baggery in Copenhagen. Oh, that's a bad cool. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know if you need anything like whatever you know what do you mean and i got pretty good at figuring out places to stay bro i'm, I'm not homeless oh does he not that's, oh i just started mm. sleeping here so i could say oh for commute. i'm just so well, close to nelly that doesn't make gotta be perfect <laughs> okay good is he that so obsessed with work which also should be looked at and helped or if you are homeless that should be helped too start with a shower <laughs> that could help. Yeah. Mm. Wait, you used to play for the fucking Cubs? <laughs> That's also, yeah, good point. <laughs> you good? He seems to be not here today. You, you okay? Is it the IRS stuff, the, Michael, the date thing with Michael and the business next door going out? Yeah. But nice and always there. It was like a fixture. So the other like places Morgan. going out nearby makes it. That's why I keep telling you guys stop fucking with this place. You know, you let up a little bit, everything changes. 
You know, you don't realize. Change isn't always bad. When we put her up there, it was the tallest building in the city, and no one was really going to see her face, so we didn't bother to put one. But now, okay. every goddamn building is taller than the next one, and they all just look out at this chick with no face, and it's just... Oh, God. Oh, God. Yo, what the fuck? Fucking kidding me. Is everybody okay? Good? Yeah. What the hell? Mother... Everybody okay, yeah? yeah. Sounds like history. Everybody what the fuck is What was around? that? Really? Who, who is shooting at the beef? Scared the shit out of me, though. Sounded like a little marble. Yeah, right? Probably some dumbass kid fucking with his mom's toy. Oh, maybe it was a shot. Slingshot or something. Kid. And, you know, keep it at a reasonable volume. Well, we can't chill over there, man. Why can't you chill over there? It's dangerous. Dangerous? What? You motherfuckers have weapons on you. <laughs> dangerous. What do you mean? Construction dangerous. The vet what? Cold. Building a sweet green. Are you fucking kidding me right uh -huh. now? Oh, love sweet green. Well, the bar's closed too. It's getting ugly. All right, yeah. I'll tell you what. Fucking gangster shit popping off. I don't want anything that's gonna freak out my customers, okay? All right, all right. Fair. Duck. Right. Huh. Respect. Huh? All right. Should we call the cops? No. 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 Sweeping glass up. I know. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> Sugar. <laughs> don't co-sign for. Forty-five minutes to open, chefs. Yes, chefs. Keep not processing trauma, Carm. Dude, what? I can't do. <laughs> yeah, just keep working. What happened? A window got shot out. Everybody is fine. The end. Because that's what I'm talking about. Natalie, Carmen. Oh. Ooh. You're pissing me off. You're pissing oh. me off. Damn. They really, none of them have really dealt with Michael's death, have they? It's just a mess. Noma. Teach you a DeVry? Yeah. <laughs> what is that, oven? No. Didn't even notice. <laughs> Michael's 15th birthday party? What happened? Beyond Carlo and Fat got into a fight. I tried to break it up and fell into the barbecue. Ah. Uh. Oh, you're afraid of something good happening because you think something bad's gonna happen? There's a name for that. I can't think of it, though. Life? <laughs> Other night, my kid asked me if my real last name is Bad News. Wait, bad you're a kid. Bad news bears. He's a kid. I guess I'm in her mom's phone as Richie Bad News. Oh. She says I'm contagious. I only Damn. call him Bad News. Wow. First of all, didn't even know he had a kid. Second of all, sounds like it's not the best situation. I really want to see these donuts he's trying to make. I want them to work out perfectly. I want the best for him. This man seems like a nice guy, trying his best. All right. He's taking copious amounts of notes. Oh shit, it's the man with the golden dick. How are you, Tom? Good to see you. <laughs> Let me get one beef, little hot, little sweet. Dip it. Dip How it. Was the dog ears, by the way. Okay, man. Got the, he, the thing off. I will give him Richie. He knows everyone. He's very sociable with people. He's good in that way. Damn. That mm, looks good. Mm. <laughs> Look at her prayer, you see, you know, the difference between the beginning of the season and now. Love it. I think that might be a good time for you to try this. Yes, thank you for asking. This one? Yes. She wants to impress him so much. She has big ideas. I'm proud of her. She just needs to be realistic as well. It's tremendous, Chef. Thank you, Chef. Yeah. It's awesome. Good for you, Sydney. Her. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, do you think maybe <laughs> soon? Fire. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> so please. It's getting closer. Yeah. How how close? I told you it was great. Yeah, she's a tremendous <laughs> view. Okay. Patience, Sydney. Patience. Don't fuck it up. Like it? I think it's great, and I'll definitely loosen up the sauce. Sydney. Just you know, Sydney. I don't understand. <laughs> Sydney, chef, it's not ready yet. You understand? 
Yes. It's okay. It's not a big deal. It's good. It's really great. Yeah. It's just not ready yet. Oh, Sydney, don't take it personally. Don't take it hard. Hi. Um, these are cola braised short ribs with risotto, and they're yours. Really? Yeah. Oh. I had an extra. <laughs> Sydney, if you need anything else. Oh, thank you, Sydney. So, okay, yeah. give it away to a random person. Oh. I knew it was dumb to co-sign. FYI. <laughs> you did it anyway. It's family, I guess. You wanna fight? Please. <laughs> I know you're mad at me. This is just irresponsible. No, 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 no. I mean at your house. All the stuff you said. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Clearly. Is that you never ask me how I'm doing. Oh. Like, ever. She That's wants true. you guys to check up on her. This place is eating you alive, you know. You always yeah. blame this place. What do you mean? I mean, you blame the restaurant. Right? You don't also mine. fair. How can I not blame this place? I just cleaned up shot out glass and now I'm covered in carbon. <laughs> All the money, work gets sucked up into this place. I don't you blame her for, for kind of hating chaos, this place. Resentment. Yeah. It hasn't really brought their family any good. Solid ground. I I, I want things to feel consistent. Yeah. Consistent. Yeah. yeah. And that's fair of her for asking that. That's totally reasonable. Yeah. Well, appreciate you saying that. Yeah, you can understand her feelings. Work towards the middle ground. Because I can't describe it. How I'm feeling. Aww. So to ask else how they're feeling, it just seems uh Yeah, if you can't understand his own feelings. I don't know, insane? <laughs> <laughs> you're right, I want to know how you're feeling. Your feelings are valid, his feelings are valid. They just need to find a way to communicate better. Feeling? To work with each other. Really good. Help each other out. Just great. <laughs> <laughs> this was a nice little real moment with the two of them. Oh, is it there? No. Yo. There we go. Yo, is this it? Just, uh, sitting in this file labeled shit. Yeah. Shit, of course. <laughs> Little boys look great, guys. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Not in front of the store. Knife is shit. Okay, well, you got a sharper. What is, what is he doing? Where's my gun? Anyone uh, what? Take my gun? There's a gun hiding up there the whole time? Carmen! This is my fault! Oh. Uh, I don't know about this. Everything's under control. Uh, please enjoy your beefs. Focus on that. Uh, <laughs> Chicago. Should, right? should, you, should you be going out there? Oh no, um, I'm worried for her. Hey, shut up! Please! Oh. Thank you. She said please. This isn't his space! Oh, no, space. You know you're the one getting there! Yeah, because you're cool! Oh, cigarettes! Yeah. Oh, God. Voices, please. Thank you. I'm Sydney. Let's start there. I'm Sydney. <laughs> John. Mr. Carl. Okay. Okay. Mr. Carl and John. Hello? <laughs> Associates, uh, good afternoon. <laughs> She's just uh, like talking to these gangsters like nothing. <laughs> Take your gun, bro. <laughs> Chill. Great. So now we all are in various states of knowing each other. Oh, okay. So <laughs> I love her. How do we fix this? Very bold. Oh God. <laughs> First of all, like, how do you not know where you put your gun? That takes so long to find it. And also, um, I don't think a gun is this day at this point. Let's not escalate things. Has she calmed it all down? Sometimes talking is the best way to solve things. Look, free food. No, no smoking. Where all the food is. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, fair. 
I need pop too. And watch on the sandwiches. Our scene, whatever, whatever we're working with. Sure. <laughs> Great. But don't go telling your auntie, brother, cousins, friends, every Tuesday, okay? Cool. All right. Cool. Okay, so we good? All right, so they feed the people out there, keep things. Wow, man, stay safe out here, G. Hey, fancy now, my guy. Look at her problem solving. Without violence. It's handled. It's handled. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Richie, it doesn't have to be violent. There's other ways to fix problems. What's he doing? <laughs> His hand is an ice water. Is this the time to be telling stories while they are cooking in the kitchen? And I'm like, guy? Take a breath. It's a fucking Honda. Let's just chill for a second. No one's even listening to you, dude. Richie, chill. I'm rocking him. I'm rocking. Hey, Richie, I need to register. Richie. Oh, Richie. Richie, Richie, Richie. Richie, Richie. 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 Richie now. Tell them before it opens or after. Oh. Oh. Outside. Outside. Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Oh, he needs to chill. You remember, Tim, oh, this God. place used to be cool, man. Yeah, you need to go home and cool off. Yeah, you were having a day. Out of here. You are fucking my shit up. Are you fucking kidding me? I feel like I'm on a different fucking right. planet right now. Who's 300% in two months. This this place mm. is, is organized and, and, and clean and, and She actually likes it this way. She doesn't want to go back to the way it was. This... This is real and alive. Yeah, this is how it's supposed to be done. And good. It's good. Yeah. You can like the old way, you can like Mikey, it doesn't make it She's a babe. that not be true. That she can handle shit? This is a delicate fucking ecosystem! He, he wants everything to be the same way as it was. No change. I fucking emphasize enough how much I don't fucking need this shit right now. Then go home. Take a few days. I'm a quit. Quit? Oh. Oh. Now where are you gonna go, Richie? Ooh. Where are you gonna go? Damn. He's dealing with his grief a very different way. A lot of violence, wanting no change. Oh, look at that tastiness. So hungry. Running like a nice system here. It's like really running smoothly. I love it. Thank you, chefs. I even want to know what happened out there. No, you do not. I just gave some leftovers. Dessert drop. Yes, chef. Say it back, please, chefs. Okay, we got four beefs here. We need them out front, he's, please. I love he's a little too focused on his desserts. He's not good with change, Richie, but things change. And sometimes you just gotta face it. Oh. Did he call the cops on them? Oh, shit. Did he call them or they just happened to come by? I feel like he had to have called them. The chance of it just happening feels a little too... Hmm. Very interesting episode with definitely more of a focus on Richie and how he's dealing with the change of it all, of Mikey, Michael's death, of Kami taking over the restaurant and changing things in the restaurant and the neighborhood changing. It's all hitting him and I can tell it's hard. And he, of the three siblings, is the worst at dealing with his emotions. Kami, his is his obsession with... The restaurant, it's not the best thing to do, deal with things, but it's not the worst. He's dealing with work and he's improving things, so it's not that bad. Candy is the one that wants to actually talk about her emotions and deal with it, even if her siblings are not. And Richie is just angry and wants everything to stay exactly the same and gets pissed off at anyone, like Sydney, who's, or Kami, who's trying to change things. And even as, um, Oh, I can't think of her name now. Angela? No. Is it? The one lady who has took a minute to accept the change, but she accepted the change and even she admitted to him, like, it's 
okay. Things are better. It's okay to admit things back then that Michael, the beef, back before Call Me came and I think, was not that great. It may have been the old days. There may have been some good times. It doesn't mean the whole thing was bad. It just means things are better now than they were before. They are improving. Their skills are getting better. Their restaurant's making more money. The restaurant's doing better. Is that bad? Like, that shouldn't be a bad thing to be able to admit that maybe when Michael was here and Michael was in charge, things were not going as great. It's not ruining his memory. It's not saying he was an awful person. It's saying things were different and things are different now. They're very different and things are just better working right now. It doesn't mean they were just awful back then. It just means it's better now. If you know what I if you know what I'm saying. And I Richie just needs to deal with anger. Violence is not the option. Con the cops, I don't think was the option either. I think the Sydney came up with a good solution. Give them leftovers. You get the leftovers. If you guys can chill out here, don't smoke around the food. Keep it quiet. Very civilized. It was a good way to handle it. And with Sydney, I also need her to realize that she needs to be a little patient. I get it. She has bold ideas. She wants great stuff. She's really good at what she's doing. But she also is green. Call has been around longer. He's been doing this more. And they also just got into a rhythm. I don't know if it's the best time to be changing things up, like, so much right now. It's like, keep the rhythm going. Get a good flow going down for a little while. And then start changing things once they've got things settled like season two not season one season one we gotta keep things going flowing fixing all the problems there's still a few like cogs and machine that need to be like oiled up and need to be fixed and then we go on adding new stuff to the machine which i get it sydney she has great ideas good stuff but she just needs to be patient she needs to wait to see that's it. She has to wait. Wait a little while. He is not saying your ID is bad. He's not saying your food is bad. He's actually saying the exact opposite. He's saying it's all great. Really, really great. But he needs a moment to process it. Think about it. There's other things going on. The restaurant. His personal life. Give it a minute. You shouldn't expect someone to approve a new idea and change everything in one day. Or even one week. Give it a little time. Hopefully it will all work out. I don't, I don't want Sydney and Call Me being on in bad way. I like them. They're a good team. I don't want that to be fucked up. Alright. So, again, one more time, thank you for the person who requested this. I really like this show and I like this episode a lot. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate all you guys that are supporting me on Patreon. It's really appreciated so much. And everyone watching on YouTube, I hope you have enjoyed. Go check out Patreon if you want them uncut and early. Um, because, what, this is gonna go on Patreon second week of July, and it's going to come out on YouTube either end of July or early August, somewhere there. Usually I do it a couple weeks after. So, yeah. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. I hope you all having a fantastic day, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.